Back in 1998, I was invited to Bob Marley's mother's house in Miami, and I thought, boy, here's the mother load, you know, I'm going to find so many great things. And she said, no, she says, everything was stolen during the funeral in Miami for Bob Marley. The gold records taken off the wall, the drawers rifled and all, the rehearsal tapes stolen. And she only had tapes, she said, that I had sent her and a few other collectors had sent her. And I said, but there must be something. And she thought and said, well, you know, I have two 10-inch reels in my bedroom that they never found, and we don't know what's on them. And she was kind enough to lend them to me for 24 hours, and I found a congenial engineer at a local underground radio station called WDNA, who had a machine that could play the old format. And when he opened the boxes, he almost had a heart attack because they hadn't been wound properly, and it, they looked like boxes full of rust. All the emulsion was falling off, and the ends were all cracked. And uh, he said, if I play these on my machine, I will ruin the machine. But if there's Marley on it, we've never heard, I've got to take a chance. So we had to run them in real time back and forth, and it was about five hours before we knew whether there was anything on them or not. And as we started to play them, we heard Bob all alone, probably in the middle of the night in his bedroom, uh, channeling Jaw with the most amazing songs, Jump Them Out of Babylon, and um, Jailbreaker, Hot Stepper, with lines like, The jury found I guilty, and I found them guilty too. I'm a jailbreaker, Hot Stepper. Um, singing about the worst gang in Jamaica 15 years before the Hot Stepper massive hit that Ine Kamosi had in 92. And uh, that remains uh, one of the most collectible items among the underground. It's known, I called it the bedroom tape, and that name kind of stuck. I presume the original tapes are still in possession of the Marley family. I played them for Ziggy, Stephen, and Damien a few years ago here in this room, and they kind of shrugged their shoulders and said, oh, Mommy would never let us release that. It's such a shame because it's, it's the most intimate stuff, and you, you feel that Bob is sitting right there in the room singing to you personally, and I hope someday they'll have the sense to, to put these out.